In the previous video, we learned about component events. In this video, let's learn about a related topic, which is event forwarding. Event forwarding is a concept that is needed if you want to listen to an event on a deeply nested component. Let's understand with a simple example. In the components folder, I'm going to create two new files called inner.swelt and outer.swelt. In the app component, I'm going to import the outer component and include it in the markup. Import outer from dot slash components slash outer dot swelt and in the markup specify the outer component. In the outer component, I'm going to import the inner component and include it in the markup. So script tag import inner from dot slash inner dot swelt in the markup include the inner component. Finally, in the inner component, I'm going to add a button with the text greet. So our inner component is now sort of a deeply nested component in our component tree. Here is what we want to achieve. On click of this greet button, we want to dispatch an event to the app component which will then listen to the event and greet the user with a simple alert dialog. Let's see how to do that. First, let's handle the button click. So on click and we assign a function called greet. Next, add a script tag and within the script tag, define the greet function. Within the function body, we need to dispatch an event called greet with the data as a string hello. So first import from swelt create event dispatcher. We then call it and assign it to a constant called dispatch. Within the function body, we call dispatch. The event name is going to be greet and the data is a string hello. So we are now dispatching the greet event from this inner component. We can go to the outer component and listen to this event. So inner on greet, and we could assign a handler with a pair of curly braces. However, we don't want to handle this event in the outer component. Perhaps we have all our logic in app component and we want the greet handler as well to be in the app component. So we need to basically forward this greet event from the outer component to the app component. And how do we do that? Well, we could import create event dispatcher again and dispatch the same event with the same data, but that seems like duplication and it definitely is. Luckily, Swelt provides a very simple way to forward an event to the parent component. And that is to simply omit the event handler. So if you don't assign a handler, Swelt considers that the greet event has to be forwarded to the parent component. All we have to do now is head over to the app component and listen to the same greet event. So on the outer component, on greet, and let's assign a handler called handle greet and define the function in the script section. Function handle greet, we get the event. We are going to alert event.detail. Save all the files, head to the browser, and you can see on click of the button, the alert dialog pops up with the message hello. Now it's also worth noting that event forwarding works with DOM events as well. So let's say we create a button component with custom styling. So new file button.swelt and let me copy paste the code which includes some styles. You can see that we have a button and styles for that button. 
but we don't want this button to define what happens when the user clicks it. We want the parent to define the behavior. So we simply forward the click event by not specifying a handler. In the app component, we can now import the button component and perhaps specify an inline handler. Button, the text is going to be click and the onClick handler is going to be an arrow function which alerts clicked. Take a look at the browser and the button works as expected. So that is about the concept of event forwarding in Svelte. Comes in handy when dealing with nested components when you have to listen to deeply nested component events. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at another cool feature, which is slots. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.